who you know leverages impacts your company okay let's see leverages under leverages we have degree of operating leverage degree of financing leverage degree of total leverage so basically in degree of operating leverage what we will learn is based on change in uh, change in sales how much your um, you know based on percentage change in sales uh, how much what percentage ebit is getting impacted that means operating profit you know is changing so for one percentage change in sales what percentage of uh, operating profit is changing uh, so that's what we will see in degree of operating leverage there are other formulas also to do this one so we'll just start with degree of operating leverage first okay now the format used in leverages is you know uh, sales then minus variable cost okay then so when we do sales minus variable cost what we get is called as contribution sales minus variable cost is contribution then from there we will reduce fixed cost okay and then uh, so once we reduce fixed cost what we get is a bit okay so let's put some numbers and do this sum let's say thousand is the sales variable cost is 500 and so contribution is thousand minus 500 then fixed cost is let's say 250 and so 500 minus 250 is my operating profit that is 250 okay 250 is my operating profit now let's say sales you know increasing by let's say because the formula says percentage change in sales so let's say here it is going up by 50 percentage if it is going up up by 50 percentage my new sales will be 1500 then my variable cost also will proportionately go up then so in that case it will be so up 50 percentage that comes to 750 because 500 plus 50 percentage will come to 750 so 1500 minus 750 will give me 750 and my fixed cost will remain the same okay so now you see everything is proportionately going up except the fixed cost and because this fixed cost is not proportionately going up you see my profit is going up highly okay so highly as in how much let's say this so degree of operating leverage i told percentage change in a bit okay based on percentage change in sales so how do i calculate this percentage change so percentage is um, so a bit so a bit is here see how do i calculate the percentage 250 becomes 500 that means it has gone up by 250 so 250 divided by the base amount is 250 into 100 okay so this is percentage change in a bit then divided by percentage change in sales so i have directly given here 50 percentage but otherwise also how you will find out is thousand is going up by 500 and reaching to 1500 so 500 divided by base amount is 1000 into 100 so what i will get here is um, this this gets cancelled and uh, uh, here also this is 2 and this becomes 50 so 100 divided by 50 okay 100 divided by 50 so overall it comes as 2 so 2 by 1 so that means degree of operating leverage is 2 that means for 1 rupee change in sales you know 2 rupees will be the uh, benefit that I am going to get okay so this is degree of operating leverage okay now why should we know this what is the benefit of this say for example you know you should use this for uh, companies you know where the fixed cost uh, uh, fixed cost is uh, uh, you know they incur the, the business nature is such that you know they have to incur some fixed cost and after that when more sales happens they don't have to incur uh, any other you know any other uh, fixed cost as such say for example your hotel industry or your theater where you know they are uh, build, they are they are incurring some fixed cost to build the hotel or uh, theater but after that when more and more people come 
to stay they don't have to spend much uh, cost again so what happens is when sales picks up uh, profit jumps up very highly because the leverages are very high okay yeah but it also you know it can go down as well if the leverages and i mean if the if the sales doesn't pick up we'll I'll, I'll show that now okay so degree of operating leverage is 2 by 1 here okay now now uh, there is another formula for calculating this degree of operating leverage uh, this is used for base case scenario base case scenario as in here you see contribution by ebit that is the formula so contribution by ebit so contribution by ebit is equal to contribution is 500 and 250 here 500 divided by 250 i will get the same answer as 2 okay but this should be used for base case scenario only now what do you mean by base case the starting one okay base case scenario see if i use the same formula here 750 by 500 i will get the answer as 1.5 which is not matching with 2 that's why I cannot use it over here. Here, here, I cannot use. But in the base case, I can use. Here and here, I can use. Okay. So, degree of operating leverages, these are the two formulas. Percentage change in EBIT by percentage change in sales and uh, uh, contribution by EBIT. Now, I told like, you know, it can impact you negatively also if the sales doesn't pick up. Say, for example, you know, if the sales comes down, it can impact negatively. Say, for example, imagine it is going down by 50 percentage minus 50 percentage so now here new sales will be 500 because 1000 is getting reduced by 50 percentage 500 now similarly variable cost also will get reduced by 50 percentage so it will be 250 500 minus 50 percentage so contribution will be 500 minus 250 comes to 250 now my fixed cost is not going to get reduced okay and so you see my EBIT has come to zero so my my sales decreased only by 50 percentage but my uh, profit decreased by 100 percentage so that's why you know uh, that is that this is the negative part of it so that's why if your company is highly leveraged and if there is a you know tailwind uh, for sales when i say tailwind for sales that means you know more sales are expected then you should invest into such kind of companies but if there is headwind that means you know sales will drop down then you should stay away uh, from such company okay so here uh, so this is about you know degree of operating leverage now if i continue this story further let's say uh, okay let's say after this EBIT, i am reducing interest so interest is assume you know let's say 125 i am paying as interest so earning before tax because earning if EBIT minus interest is earning before tax so earning before tax will be now 125 okay 125 then minus tax 50 percentage let's say tax is 50 percentage so in that case it comes to uh, 50 percentage of 125 comes to 62.5 and so my earning after tax will be 62.5 so on the right hand side here you know when it is 500 i am keeping the same interest right because it is fixed okay by the way see fixed cost can be classified into two types uh, one is operating fixed cost another one is operating fixed cost example is rent okay so you know imagine when i was calculating this fixed cost let's say this as rent okay then the second one is financing fixed cost financing fixed cost here you can take the example of interest interest as the example okay so financing fixed cost is interest and here interest is fixed so 500 minus 125 you know a bit is uh, sorry it comes to 375 now so 500 minus 125 a bit yeah sorry ebt comes to earning before tax comes to 375 okay and the tax is 60, uh, 50 percentage so 50 percentage of 375 comes to 180 7.5 so my earning after tax is 
187.5 okay so now let's see how much my net profit that is earning after tax is going up based on my EBIT okay so here the comparison is between uh, earning after tax and earning before interest and tax so the formula for degree of financing leverage is equal to percentage change in uh, earning after tax okay based on percentage change in EBIT percentage change in EBIT so how will I calculate the percentage here so 187.5 minus 62.5 so that comes to uh, 125 divided by the base amount is 62.5 into 100 to calculate percentage divided by percentage change in EBIT so EBIT is 250 is going to uh, 500 that means it is going up by 250 so 250 divided by the base amount was 250 into 100 so when you calculate this will give me uh, 200 this is 2 times and here this is 1 times so 2 into 100 200 divided by 100 so this is coming as 2 so degree of financial leverage is also 2 so what does this indicate this says that uh, when 1 rupee you know in EBIT changes my net profit is changing by 2 rupees okay so that means when when I am getting 1 rupee profit um, uh, in, in, in the operating uh, in the operating profit that is earning before interest and tax my net profit earning after tax you know is changing by two rupees okay yeah so that is degree of finance uh, financial leverage now there is another formula also for degree of financial leverage for the base case scenario uh, the formula is a bit a bit by you know ebt uh, a bit by ebt so a bit is base case again so EBIT is you know here EBIT is 250 250 and EBT is 125 so 250 by 125 will give me again 2 okay 250 by 125 will give me 2 this is degree of financial leverage okay degree of financial leverage okay now this ebt i can even write as you know uh, ebit minus interest it's one and the same formula okay ebit minus interest will give me ebt fine so this is degree of financial leverage okay so that means uh, here see from from uh, operating leverage perspective it is uh, 2 and financial leverage perspective this is also 2 so what is my total leverage so let's see my total leverage is okay so degree of total leverage degree of total leverage is equal to degree of operating leverage into degree of financing leverage that means 2 into 2 equal to 4 but what do we understand by this so degree of total leverage will tell you so degree of total leverage will tell you percentage change in uh, percentage change in earning after tax that means net profit based on percentage change in sales so that means so here uh, so how much my net profit you know this is changing how much my net profit is changing based on percentage change in uh, sales based on percentage change in sales now if you see here my sales is going up by 50 percentage whereas my sales is going up by 50 percentage so in that case uh, so if you notice yeah 
yeah if you notice how much my earning after tax is changing by let's calculate that okay that will give me degree of total leverage so earning after tax uh, it went up by you know it went up by 125 right okay so 187.5 minus 62.5 is 125 so 125 divided by 62.5 right that is the base amount into 100 divided by percentage change in sales was 50 percentage but still i am just elaborating 500 by 1000 into 100 so this will give me uh, so uh, 500 into 2 2 into 50 uh, so this is 200 divided by 50 that comes to 4 okay so which i got here as well 4 so degree of total leverage these are different different ways to find out so this is basically telling me you know based on my sales that means if one rupee if my sale is increasing by one rupee my earning after tax is increasing by four rupees okay so that's degree of operate uh, degree of total leverage okay then there is one more formula also you can further formula is in just elaborating this degree of operating leverage and degree of financial leverage uh, base case scenarios formula see degree of total leverage is equal to degree of operating leverage into degree of financial leverage now i can elaborate this degree of operating leverage uh, is contribution divided by a bit into degree of financial leverage is a bit divided by uh, ebt okay now this this gets cancelled so i can write this as contribution divided by ebt okay so contribution is uh, again for the base case contribution is 500 and ebt is 125 so 500 divided by 125 will give me 4 so these are different ways to calculate